Okay, we're going to do a derivation of Newtonian mechanics, the formulas for Newtonian mechanics. I always feel that uh, professors don't show this well, and they take too much time showing a lot of the basic concepts, and uh, it, you don't really see the flow together. But they really can all be a drive, drive from F equals MA. Where Newton actually wrote it as F equals DP DT, the derivative of momentum with respect to time. So we'll do a separable equation, and we'll change that to dp equals f dot dt. It's just algebraic. You just bring the dt over. And then we integrate that, and you have momentum equals force times time. Well, we know f equals ma, so we know momentum equals mass times acceleration times time. We'll call that velocity. So momentum equals mass times velocity. So now we have v equals at. So we'll write that over here. V equals AT, we'll add a constant. Because when we d take a derivative of this, the constant's going to go away, and we need some information right now. We have the velocity final, we have acceleration and time, we'd like to know the velocity initial. So we'll have V equals V0 plus AT. Now you integrate that, and you get X equals another constant, plus V0T plus one-half AT squared. I'm sure everyone's seen that. Well, we have another constant that will go away with the de derivative, so we have the uh, position final. We'll want the position initially. So now let's bring that uh, position over here. So it's x minus x0 equals, and we'll just make it simpler, 1 half at squared. Now, this at squared, we're going to change that, and we're going to multiply by a and divide by a. And that's, uh, that's just a divided by a is 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. So we have a t squared times a over 2a. So we're going to bring that 2a over, and then a times a is now a squared. So what we have is we're going to have 2a times the change in position equals a t squared, where that's velocity. So b squared equals 2a x minus x0. I'm sure people have seen that. They usually see it as this squared equals v not squared plus 2a times the change in position. Now this is where some of the some of the cooler things happen. So we have the 2a. We know a is involved with f equals ma. f equals ma, so a equals f over m. So let's plug that in here. We have, and I'll get rid of the v not squared just to make it easier. v squared equals 2 f over m times the change in position, we'll change that to just d. It's just the distance. So now bring that m over and that uh, leave the f there and the 2 from the top to the bottom. So the m goes from the bottom to the top, 2 from top to bottom, just basic algebra. And what do you get? You get 1 over 2 m v squared equals f times the distance, kinetic energy. So a change in kinetic energy would be, if we still kept that uh, V0 squared, it would be 1 half mv squared minus 1 half mv squared initial equals f dot d. Now, you want to take the derivative of this, I'm sorry, the derivative of this. With respect to time, you have position, distance with respect to time. The first, first derivative of position with respect to time is velocity. So you have f dot v. And that's power. And you can go on. To, I mean, this is one sheet of paper, and this is probably, I don't know, six weeks in a Physics 1 course in college, where each of these equations will seem more complex than they need to be, and each one will seem like an arbitrary uh, equation you have to memorize for no reason, when all you really have to memorize is F equals MA, which most people already know.